Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I actually don't know like what am I recording or what this video is about. Oh, you know what we can talk about? We can talk about my experience with the um, um, doctors. Um, ever since experience, well, ish, this child. I'm working with LK now. I'm afraid that he's not looking at the cars. LK! You must look at the cars. Be careful. No, no, bye. No, walk there. I'm recording myself here, not you. Anyway, so, as I was saying. So, basically, I started seeing... Well, immediately when I found out that I was pregnant, I went to my GP. And then because he said, because I was spotting, and then he was like, you know what, I prefer my patients to go see gynecologists like from the get-go. So I was like, cool, don't run, don't run. <clears throat> I was like, okay, cool. Um, then he yeah, set up an appointment for me and then that specific gynecologist was not available so i had to go to the er um at the hospital okay i went and then the person that does scans or yeah there are scans and well the guy i don't remember much but like oh yeah the gynecologist was on call was not available at that time so lk lk <sighs> this child guys <laughs> who is this gonna be live <laughs> like he's walking so far and there's a house where there's there are dogs so i'm afraid wait for me so yes so anyway i went then to and then i saw the er doctor whatever that was there and like they practically scared me man because like i was bleeding and whatnot and they literally treated everything like it was a miscarriage already you know so they took my hcg levels i think and then they said if they double within um well the following day then all is good uh, so i went back i think on monday and then they did them again blah 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 and then everything was good clearly but nonetheless i feel like if you don't know like don't scare someone because like i was already so emotional because like they literally lk stop wait for me i was literally like so scared because they literally like just um assumed that it was a miscarriage and i know like they don't want to maybe like give you a whole hopes high whatever ish man like you know what I, i'm saying but still man like mm -mm. anyway okay fine then this specific doctor when she did all the tests and then it was confirmed that i'm pregnant um she said i must go to yeah one other day the same day i went to do the scan yeah remember and during the weekend it was not available so i went and then they said they couldn't see the baby uh but they could see like the sack or something like that so again they were also very unsure so i didn't know what that means anyway i got the appointment for the gynecologist i went to see her um and then she did um a vaginal vaginal scan and first of all i was so traumatized guys i was literally so scared oh this is the house where there are dogs let me pause Yo, guys like these dogs are so big i don't know if you guys can see but literally Yo. i'm literally so afraid that they can just jump and like attack anyway okay. so yeah i did the so the doctor yes that gynecologist did that and um i don't know when okay like then i think i was already like um at a point where they could see and then she confirmed that there is a baby but not what not everything was going well right okay cool 
fine so she would give us like um four week appointments which was okay um what i really want to talk about is the treatment that i got from that specific doctor and she's female so i expected her to be a little bit more understanding um first of all i'm gonna also like compare the difference okay i'm belling up walk this side quickly walk Um, I'm gonna compare like I'm gonna sort of like do a comparison with the, my current doctor which is male and older so that you can see the difference or you can get the gist of what I'm saying firstly our appointment with the female doctor the first doctor that I saw for majority of my pregnancy was less than 15 minutes 10 minutes tops so you didn't get to ask any questions and she was very cold also like I started being afraid of asking questions because she would make you feel like like you know like those people that make you feel like whatever dude like just google or whatever right um again i remember like because her appointments were always early in the morning i would like not have pee at the time i'd drink so much water but still won't have pee because i would have like literally just peed before i got there and like she never even noticed like a couple of times guys i i saw her from like the time i was like six weeks or whatever that i was until literally um until i was eight months basically and like i think the only time i peed was once or twice but like she never asked about it and i thought that those peas and whatnot they're important you know but anyway so i also like would forget so i would always say okay let me see the doctor first because that's what they want you to do like when you get there you t they take your blood pressure blah 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 so i would always do that and then say okay fine i'll pee like let me continue drinking water after the session i will i will um do the pee thingy but i would forget but like they wouldn't care like even the assistant they wouldn't remind me you know and like i struggled a lot with my mental health and i told her like literally like my second um, appointment i told her like what's going on the medication and i'm worried about them and like she never really made me feel comfortable like she was just like you know speak to your psychiatrist and that's that like and every time i would like maybe the the psychiatrist or whatever they would um you know prescribe certain medication for me like i felt like i needed to double check with her you know and when i do when i send her maybe an email or call Guys, I would not even get a response. And, um, yeah, I would not get a response. So, yeah, it was just, like, basically, you know. And she would see me not doing well. Like, I would come to sessions, like, very down, depressed and all of that. And mm, nothing much, hey? She, she would not, um, <laughs> I don't know, guys, but, like, yeah anyway like let me say let me or like i said like let me rather give you like context by comparing the two so this new doctor that i started seeing the male he's a little bit older than the lady um like today i had my session today and i was not doing well emotionally at all and he told me i mean imagine this today was our second time meeting literally and he was like no you today you don't look well what's happening i told him and i started crying and immediately he called my psychiatrist he had he, so like guys the difference much the person that i saw to, he already has my psychiatrist number told made an appointment for me to say i must go um i must go see see her you know and um like generally like even the first appointment like the first appointment that i saw him he like the first question he asked okay um what medication are you taking for your mental whatever and i told him and then he was like okay no cool we'll monitor we'll continue to monitor you just continue um taking them he like he reassured me that um there's nothing wrong with um taking them whereas the other one would like it's like she was saying dude these things you know they're not safe that's why you're asking me so like basically take them if you want to but like i'm not gonna take responsibility or i'm not gonna comment on anything further you know if you're like she didn't want to be involved like if you if you say your psychiatrist they, says they're fine for pregnancy then you know <sighs> yeah so frustrating <sighs> my 
god this walk was long um and then um and then yeah like the doctor um she he asked me and he does everything he makes sure he does the pee thingy himself the pee test himself takes my blood pressure like explains everything like guys my first appointment was like 45 minutes i was surprised and shocked and like impressed at the same time right um i'm so tired where am i gonna sit I should have taken a chair out inside. But anyway. Now the lighting is terrible. Yeah, so. Um. Rat Lord Lamasaki. I gotta catch my breath. But nonetheless. Um. Okay, the phone locked. Blah, blah, blah yeah so what was i saying i think i lost my my train of thought yeah like i was so impressed it took 45 minutes like he explained everything in detail like even today he was explaining the same things that he explained the last time like about birth when i must go to hospital and 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 like just giving me assurance like you know like he was very he's very calm and and like reassuring like that's the most important thing he's so reassuring um he understands like my fear obviously about labor and all of that and he's literally um trying to make it as comfortable and as easy as possible by giving me all the information that i need and also like he didn't mind like the fact that i preferred to give birth at a specific hospital of which the other one um had a problem and the, it was so funny because when we when we met and they gave us the, the documents and whatnot with the costs and all of that that specific hospital so she delivers she she works at two hospitals so the one the like so i chose the other one and all of a sudden imagine like late 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 in pregnancy when i just when i tell her that oh okay no i'd like to um choose this one she says she doesn't do that anymore she only do, does c-sections there and 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 like she literally didn't like entertain me as to like why i prefer that other one anyway um also like they expected me to register myself or book my own bed i know like some doctors do guys it's fine but i did like and obviously you know i did go to the portal and whatnot but then there were codes like specific codes that they needed from the doctor i whatsapped i emailed the little response and when i went there like the assistant was very dismissive and said no i must go to the hospital and ask them oh whatever guys i mean really anyway um another thing which is different from this current doctor like the first the, my first appointment the assistant did everything for me like my bed was booked within two days they literally did every single thing for me all i needed like all, all i got from my email is confirmation of everything which was very nice <clears throat> what else can oh and then like when i so when I communicated to say, please cancel all my future appointments, I'm going to be seeing another doctor. Guys, no nothing, no good luck. What's happening? Are you moving? Or are you going to give birth at home? Or whatever. They were just like, juices, peace out. They were just like, okay, all appointments canceled. Just like that, guys. Like, seriously, for a patient that you saw like until eight months, and they're so damn expensive and like there was one session where um i don't know i i think i asked a question or i was not fine and we had to speak about like i communicated my frustrations with the communication how i feel like i'm i'm a first time mom and i've got so many questions and but i never get the chance like which platform does she prefer must i not do them during session maybe she can respond via email or whatever and she gave me this whole speech that hey family time wara, 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 wara. and that extra five minutes like i told you guys that the session the session will only be 10 minutes the extra five minutes that we they charged for it extra what 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 guys it was not even like it was literally five minutes 
so but yeah so like with this current dr shem i'm so happy i so wish that i saw him like um way before um time i think i would have also like he would also he would have also helped me deal a lot with because i was heavily depressed guys like from my first trimester to my second like extremely not no jokes suicidal attempts thoughts and you name it so i mean that one noticed all of that but like she was not interested she didn't like it was like nothing was phasing her like nothing was happening and there was a time where actually i went to visit her uh, i mean i went to go to see her while coming from a mental institution imagine like but like there was like not alarming enough for her you know to say dude like this person is really not doing well so much that she's also like now she's been admitted at like six months or whatever pregnant you know so so that was very sad so like i just feel like yeah um i also like was afraid of moving or also because i was not in a good space guys like i was really not in a good space to be looking for other doctors and whatnot so i just continued going to see her you know so yeah also that you know plays a part i could have but as soon as i felt better then that's when i took my power back and then i i i asked for referrals and whatnot and i got this appointment so so basically yeah but so yeah guys don't wait you know pregnancy is a very beautiful thing and it's also very sensitive so you need like somebody that you're going to be comfortable with and you know yeah communicate every single thing so yeah always maybe find maybe she has people that she deals with that maybe suit her personality or that are confident or assertive enough to you know demand so some of us maybe were too meek nice naive i don't know what but i don't know but yeah yeah so yeah so look for doctors that really suit your needs and but thing like i'm so blessed to have the doctors that i have now the now this new gynecologist that i have or obgyn and my psychiatrist and my psychologist and actually the my psychiatrist is the one that told me about this doctor so this is it's great so yeah and i've i've obviously went through like quite a number of psychologists psychiatrists and whatnot and i finally found the ones that work for me you know like that like suit my personality and my personal needs because we're not we're not all the same we need different things from different people and therapy comes in so many ways so many forms that's why some people don't do well with like um, talk therapy or whatever but they do well with occupational therapy like working with hands painting doing what whatever like some people enjoy that rather than talking and um yeah some need um you know where they shock your brain ect um so yeah so yeah guys um really take care of your mental health as well like i said in my previous video prenatal depression is a serious thing and um of course like all the all, like obviously all depressions but like also like i know like more what is mostly talked about is um postnatal like after you have the baby or baby blues or whatever but like also like even before you have the baby while you're pregnant you can still have depression it's very difficult to deal with it because um everywhere you google they'll say antidepressants sleeping medication is not good and whatnot so and they say if you stress um you stress in the baby you don't cry too much and all of that and really sometimes you can't help it obviously so yeah I mean it's just you know but we thank god for his mercy for his grace for protection up until we are this far so yeah so basically that's what i wanted to talk about guys um i don't like my videos becoming so long but yeah i just want to talk about my experience but i'm grateful for now for the doctor that i have and um for him taking his time to educate to reassure me and to yeah get me ready to prep for labor because <laughs> i'm literally not looking forward to it i'm so afraid <laughs> guys also my advice stop googling <laughs> stop watching youtube videos about birth and all of the things that can go wrong but i'm kidding it's better to know than not to know 
but yeah guys so that's it i hope you keep well keep safe wishing you all the mummies all the expecting mummies a safe and happy delivery so yep let me show you my baby bump <laughs> hello rainbow hello my mommy hello mama hello monkey hi monkey hello mama hello rainbow <laughs> yep so bye from me and rainbow god bless <laughs>